Hey y'all, welcome back to my bathroom. My name's Brittany and today I'm going to show you how to correctly mix lightener, aka bleach, and permanent hair color. I am a real hairdresser, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this with things you're going to have at home. Now, it does not matter if you're using professional products or not. That's your own discretion. I would advise that you do try to use a name brand or professional product, but if you need to go to Sally Beauty Supply, that's okay. First thing that we're gonna mix up is lightener. Now I'm using Pravana Pure Light Lightener. You can grab this on Amazon, I'll put a link below. But like I said, any lightener is fine. It's really up to you. You'll wanna read the directions because all lighteners are different, but typically it's a one to two ratio. Meaning, if I use an ounce of lightener, I'm gonna use two ounces of developer, one to two. We're also gonna need something that looks like this, developer. Now, despite what some hairdressers are gonna tell you that it has to be the same brand, it doesn't. Marketing gimmick, in some very rare circumstances would that apply where you have to keep the same brand. For instance, Aveda. I would never use an Aveda hair color and a Pravana developer. If you can, stick to the same brand, that's awesome, but don't think you can't move forward if you don't have the same brand of developer with the same brand of lightener. I'm totally okay with you using the Brilliant Color Ion Brilliance, Color Brilliance from Sally's. Hell, I even use it sometimes. It is okay. The results won't be as fantastic, but you'll still get good results. So don't think that you have to have all this name brand bougie stuff because you don't. Okay, so the developer. This is basically hydrogen peroxide. You have to have this with your lightener or with your color. It activates and they work together. Husband, wife, 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 man, man, married together. Whatever you wanna call it, they have to have each other to work. Standalone, they are useless. The developer comes in 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume. Now the easiest way to get this across is think of levels of lift. 10 volume, one level of lift. 20 volume, two levels of lift when we're talking about lightener. 30 is three levels, 40 is four levels. I would advise you to not use 40 volume on your first go around at coloring your hair because it's dangerous and it could melt your hair, cause chemical burns. I would stick to 10 or 20. For instance, today I'm shooting a baby lights video, which you can grab here, and I'm gonna be sticking with just, oops, that's alcohol. <laughs> I'm gonna be sticking with just 20 volume today. It's gonna offer me two levels of lift ideally. Now, if you wanna get technical, if you go under heat and things, yeah, you can achieve more levels of lift, but we're not gonna go there. Got our lightener, we've got our developer of choice. For this particular brand, uh, Pravana, this is a one to three ratio. Normally in the salon, we would use a digital scale to weigh things out. If you don't have a scale, I'm gonna show you the easy way. We're gonna grab something like this. This is just a tablespoon. Now, depending on how much hair you have, you may want to grab something bigger, but I don't need much lightener. I'm going to take one tablespoon of lightener. One tablespoon. Now, because the directions say it's a one to three ratio, I'm then going to put three of these filled with developer into my bowl. So now we have one tablespoon of lightener or bleach and three tablespoons of the 20 volume developer. And now you're gonna mix it together. This is a professional matrix brush, but honestly, this is just a makeup brush. So you can use the same, I actually prefer to use makeup brushes when doing like things like baby lights and balayage. It gives it a softer touch. So just grab a makeup brush, mix this together, and you wanna make sure it's not chunky, there's no like funky things in here. You get done, it's going to be a consistency kind of like this. It's a little foamy, but it shouldn't be sliding off your brush or too liquidy because what happens when this gets liquidy is it will leak out your foils and create those spots. So you want this to be a thicker consistency. It's gonna be working off the heat of your scalp and will kind of thin it out a little bit. Now, for some reason it's too thick, add more developer, just eyeball it, and if it's too thin, add a little bit more powdered lightener. So you're good to go on mixing up lightener. Now let's mix up permanent hair color. Every hair color tube has the ounces on the side. You can use those, that's fine, but I'm also going to be using the tablespoon method just to make it easier. Just like the lightener, you wanna read the manufacturer's directions on the ratio. Normally, hair color in a tube or even in a bottle is a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning, if I do one tablespoon of this, 
I'm gonna do one tablespoon of developer. So I've got one tablespoon of my hair color. I'm gonna put it in my bowl. Then I'm gonna take my brush or my makeup brush and kind of tap this around. It tends to get chunky, so if you'll swish this around or tap it around before you add the developer, it makes it a lot creamier. Now I'm using a real hair color brush today for this one, but you can absolutely use a makeup brush for the actual color as well. Now we're gonna add our developer. I'm gonna go with 10 volume. How you know which developer to choose for actual hair color is pretty simple. So 10 volume is deposit only. You're just making things darker. Let's say we're going through a goth period, which I love, and we wanna dye our hair black. Well, we're gonna use tin volume because we don't want any lift, we just wanna deposit that black hair color onto this. Slap it on their tin volume. Now, where this gets tricky is if you have gray hair. Usually if I see any gray in a client, I'm gonna use 20 volume. Now that may contradict what I just said. You're like, what, 20 volume's gonna lift it two levels. How is it gonna deposit? Well, gray hair is not like normal hair. Gray hair is thick and coarse and wiry. If you just put tin volume on it, it will literally fall off most of the time. You need something to open up the cuticle of the hair. And how you're gonna do that is with a higher volume, 20 volume. So it's going to lift, puff up your hair strand, and also deposit the hair color at the same time. So if you have any sort of gray in your hair, more than 25%, you're going to be using 20 volume for your low lights or whatever you're mixing up your color. Now you have something delicious that looks like that. It's super creamy. Again, it's not flying off the brush. All right, great. So now that you can mix hair color and lightener at home by yourself, you'll save some money. Comment below if you need any help, ask any questions, I will always answer them. Be sure to like, subscribe, I post new content every single week and you can check out all my other beauty videos on this next slide.